Hello, and welcome to the EMP Tech Group. Today we're going to show you and talk about a little known feature within Zebra's 123 scan utility called Auto Configure. Um, Auto Configure is a feature within the utility that lets you copy um, scanner settings from one scanner to another uh, by just scanning the pairing barcode or cradling a cordless zebra scanner onto the cradle. Um, this has to be a cordless scanner. It will not work with a corded scanner. So the way auto configure works is, let's say you have multiple cordless scanners throughout your facility. Um, as an example, one in receiving, one in, in shipping, and one in packaging. And let's say each of those scanners has a different unique setup on them. Um, let's say the one in receiving has to um, parse some data to remove a field identifier. Let's say the one in shipping um, appends or adds an enter to the end of the scan so you can enter into the next field. And let's say the one in packaging um, adds or appends a tab to the end of the scan, and that's just the way that system works. Um, what you can do with auto configure is, is let's say you all of a sudden the, one, the scanner packaging goes missing or it dies and you don't have time to charge it or put a new battery into it and nobody in, is in receiving doing anything. You can go grab that scanner from receiving, walk up and either cradle it or scan the pairing barcode on the cradle that's in packaging, and it will automatically transfer the settings for that cradle into the scanner you just paired with it. So now when you walked it over from receiving, it actually was parsing data. It now is appending or adding a tab, just like that, either you know, with one quick pairing scan or just cradling the device to pair it to the cradle. Makes it super convenient to where if you need to have somebody else start scanning and use an extra scanner in location, or again, you have one die or one goes missing, um, instead of having to come in and either scan barcodes on a sheet or open up the one, two, three scan utility, you can now just pair it with the cradle and it now has the features that that cradle was, was programmed with. To um, turn this feature on, it is actually disabled by, by default, it's very simple. So you're going to open up the one, two, three scan utility. Um, and in this instance, I do not have a cradle or a scanner connected to my PC um, only because of lack of available USB ports. But you are going to create a new configuration file either way. And so if you do have everything connected to the PC here, you would say my scanner is connected. And currently mine is not. So I'm just going to say, hey, mine is not. This is going to work the same either way. And I'm going to Pick the DS3678, their ultra rugged cordless scanner. I'm just going to say it's the SR model. If you had this plugged in, it's going to automatically find it when you say, hey, my, my scanner's connected. So you would find it, you would select, yeah, that's what I want, and you would move on here. So now we come to this screen. Easiest way to do it is just to come down here to the search for parameter and type in auto. Oh, excuse me, type in auto. And as you can see, all of a sudden we have auto config scanner through. Scanner cloning through Cradle. And as you can see, it's not check marked. Um, depending on the firmware you have, you may see an actual disabled um, box, kind of like this, but it'll say disabled with a drop down that would give you the enabled option. For this, we're just going to check it. It's now enabled. We're now going to click, hey, we're done with that. And then we're going to load it to the scanner. If it's connected, it's super easy. You would just hit load to scanner. It would pop up with the scanner and you would select load it to both or load to all. Um, because I don't have it here, one thing we could do is just print the barcode, scan it on the scanner and then cradle the scanner and it would, it would populate that way. But again, super easy to do. Uh, it's a great feature. It's just not that well known. And I hope this helps. Um, again, uh, if you have any questions about this, please give us a call or visit us at um, emptechgroup.com or call us directly at 317-776-6700. And again, thank you for taking the time to watch us and have a good day.